Hello everyone, my name is Anuj Jain I, and I welcome you all uh, on behalf of Narayana family. So exams are just over and see we are here with the solutions, right? So let's just directly get into the business and start with the question number one. So uh, to graph which shows the variation of the de Broglie wavelength lambda of a particle and its associated wave, uh, momentum that is P. And here we are given four options, right? So we already know that lambda de Broglie wavelength is equal to h by momentum, right? So of course, when we draw the diagram, lambda is inversely proportional to p, so there will be a rectangular hyperbola like this, lambda d and this is p. So of course, our fourth option is correct. Very easy, right? de Broglie wavelength related concept is there. Next uh, question. As the temperature increases, the electrical resistance, now we have given few options. So we already know that for conductors, resistance basically increases exponentially, right? While for the semiconductors, it decreases. So if we choose, so of course over here option 3 will be correct, increases for conductors but decreases for semiconductors. Again a very easy question uh, from complexity. Now this question is basically from the modern physics, directly formula based question. Let T1 and T2 be, be the energy of an electron in first and second excited states of hydrogen atom respectively. According to the Bohr's model of an atom, the ratio T1 T2 is. As we know that the energy, if we are calling T as a total energy, it will come down as minus 13.6, right, Z square by N square. Right, in, it is an EV of course, electron volt. So here they are saying that hydrogen atom is always there. So Z will be constant. So if we say that T over here is basically inversely proportional to N square, right? So over here we can write T1 upon T2 is equals to N2 by N1 whole square, right? Now N1 over here is 2. Why sir? Because it is the first excited state above ground state, right? And after that N2 is 3. Just put the formula, put the values. So T1 upon T2 will be equal to 3 by 2 square. So that will be 9 by 4. Very easy, huh? option 4. Let's jump down to the next question. This question is basically from the center of mass. Again, very easy question uh, from NEAT. Two objects of mass 10 kg and 20 kg respectively are connected to a two ends of a rigid rod of length 10 meter with negligible mass. The distance of the center of mass of the system from 10 kg is. So uh, we can just assume this rod over here. Mm, let's just assume this rod. So over here, we are taking this as, let's call it y-axis. This is basically x-axis. So over here, we have given this mass that is 10 kg. Let's keep it 10 kg, which is origin 0, 0, right? And over here, 20 kg mass is there. So uh, over here, the coordinates will be 10, 0. Because the rod is of basically length 10 meter. So we can just easily apply the formula XEM is equals to m1 x1, m1 is 10 kg, its x coordinate is 0, plus second body is 20 into that is 10 divided by m1 plus m2, m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2. So this is 10 plus 20. If you solve this, it will come down as 20 by 3 meters. And see in the question as well, they are asking the distance of the center of mass from 10 kg and also we have calculated from origin only. So here it will be the center of mass over here and the distance will be 20 by 3 meters. So option 2 is correct. Moving down to the next question. This question is again you see uh, you'll every time you'll see this formula in the books, very easy question. The ratio of the distances traveled by the freely falling body in first, second, third and fourth second. Come on, you can also tell this that we, you know, in lots of books, we, we hear that we read 
that the ratio will be in the odd numbers like 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 Galileo Galileo's concept we can also apply apart from that we can also say that SN like nth distance traveled by the body in nth second can be written as g by 2 into 2n minus 1 just keep the formula for second 2 second 3 second and you will just get the ratio so it will be 5 is to what 15 is to 25 and so on so if you just take the common 5 it will be 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 1 you can move ahead like over here there will be 35 so it will be 7 and a third option is good so it's quite easy right thank you